A man has been charged for shooting an officer's gun during a struggle. Battle Creek police say he was having a mental health episode at the time. Fox Lauren Coomer has more after speaking with the department about their response. This incident happened last Thursday, May 26th. The body camera footage released by the department shows the moments before and after the man reached for the officer's weapon. We received calls of a, of a gentleman who was uh, running out of traffic and appeared as if he was trying to get hit by a, a vehicle. Uh, when officers responded to the scene, they made contact with him and he was saying some things that alerted to them something something was amiss. Officers first try to de-escalate the situation by talking to him. Get out of the, get out of the road. Something they say is taught in trainings in the academy and in even more detail by courses through the department, including crisis intervention training or CIT. We probably spend 16 hours to begin with. And then uh, as it progresses, uh, for instance, the CIT uh, training itself is, is a 40 hour uh, course and mental health training for first aid is a several hour course as well. As seen in the footage, the man runs back into traffic and officers make contact with him. The man grabs one of the officer's guns in the holster and pulls the trigger. He was able to get his finger just in the right place. And uh, the gun was caught by the holster itself, the retention feature. Uh, but he was still able to get his finger in there just enough to get a hold of the officer's trigger where he fired off one round. Some of the thinking these days is that because there's a position among mental, the mental health community that police officers should not be involved in these situations because of the fact they are armed and uniformed and they can be perceived as being a threat to the person, as was this case. So that's the argument for the call responder model. But Dr. Getz, who specializes in policing and society, says law enforcement officers still need to be trained because there are more of them than mental health workers. While the man was arrested and lodged in Calhoun County Jail, Battle Creek Police Department says they've reached out to their mental health partners. That is always important to us to get the necessary help um, that they, they need in an incident like this. So we are working with them. Uh, they were briefed on the situation uh, along with um, the, the jail and court system itself. The officer was hurt, but the injury was minor and he's already back to work. Reporting in Battle Creek, Lauren Coomer, Fox 17 News. Lauren, thank you.